Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes and Cardio.com and I am here today with my wonderful friend Beth from Cooking and Crafting. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for asking me. We are here at YouTube Space LA and we wanted to do a couple Christmas holiday themed videos for you guys. So on our table, Beth made this hanger tree. So make sure you check out her channel to check out how to make that yourself because she's totally crafty, which you guys know I have nothing to do with crafts and don't know how to do that. But here on our channel, we're going to do this gingerbread eggnog streusel. And over on Beth's channel, we're going to be making a peppermint trifle. So let's get started. The ingredients that we're going to need for the gingerbread streusel will start with a quarter cup of softened butter. We're going to need one cup of all-purpose flour. And for the spices, we're going to need one and a half tablespoons of ground ginger, one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of cloves, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and one cup of brown sugar. For garnish, which is totally optional, are these cute little gingerbread cookies and some strawberries. And now for the eggnog mousse, we're going to use three and a half cups of eggnog, a small eight ounce container of Cool Whip, and a small box of vanilla pudding. And we have these really cute, adorable mini trifle bowls. We'll put a link to where you can get them in the description box below. But you can also use a regular size trifle bowl or you can even use just a regular bowl. That's totally fine. So we've got our eggnog and our vanilla pudding and we're using a handheld mixer. And Beth is going to add in the vanilla pudding and we're going to whip it up for two minutes and then set it aside in the fridge if you've got one handy and we'll let it come to that, that pudding texture kind of thicker. Once the pudding has set, we're going to just fold in all of our Cool Whip that we have. And then Beth's going to do all the hard work here, folding it in. You just want to be gentle so that the Cool Whip doesn't kind of like compress and if you're doing this with egg whites, you won't want to have the egg whites crash or to just kind of go back into mush. Um, and what you're going to do after you've got it all mixed together is we're going to go put it into the fridge and we'll let it set completely while we're making our gingerbread streusel. So for the streusel, um, we're going to use a fork because we want to just have bigger chunks of butter. And yeah, so just smush it and get going on that one. And we're going to just try to get it into fine um, grinds, little teeny tiny pieces of, of butter, as fine as we can get them. And we're going to gradually add in some sugar. So I'm going to dump that on you. Watch okay. out, Beth. There you go. So it's kind of hard using this fork. If you've got something like a pastry cutter, you might want to try using that as well. Um, I'm going to put in all of our spices now as well. Just all of them are going in there on top. It smells absolutely <laughs> delicious. Nothing is more Christmas me than like gingerbread and nutmeg. Yeah, exactly. It smells so good. It's looking awesome. You got me working here. I know, this is hard. That's why you're doing the hard work. <laughs> Everything hard, yeah. Well, you want to be a guest on my show? Well, uh, here yeah, you go. Work. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just slowly start to sprinkle the flour on top for you. Okay. Let's do a little bit. It's going to be, you want it to be crumbly like this. And then I've also got a little bit of water to add to help with the crumbliness. Um, you can also like an al another al alternative is to melt your butter, but I just prefer it more chunky like this. I agree. I, when I usually melt it, it just, it seems to fall apart more often. Yeah, totally. Okay, I'm going to add the rest in here. Okay. So we're going to get Beth um, mixing the rest of that up and then we'll come back to add the water part because it's going to take a little while. So now that we have it mostly mixed together and the butter is really fine crumbles, we're just going to add a couple tablespoons at a time of water. And like I said, this part is totally optional. It's up to you whether or not uh, you want to add the water. What the water does is just kind of make it a little bit chewier and which is kind of a nice piece to an actual gingerbread, I find. I never knew that. <laughs> oh, well, I might have made it up. <laughs> I don't know. Did you trademark it? <laughs> yes, that is my that idea. Nice. Adding the water. <laughs> right, no, I didn't more. make it up. I actually read that information. Cool. <laughs> 
So do you want a little bit more, do you think? Yeah, I think just a tiny bit. Okay. And Beth has a really good gingerbread recipe, like for an actual gingerbread cake up on her channel. She did a, a rest, she did a scary uh, skeleton. skeleton. Yeah, there we go. The, mm -hmm. the recipe for that was just, oh, insanely good. Awesome. I can't wait to try it myself. Okay, I think that looks awesome. So we're going to switch back to the pudding and we're going to assemble the trifle and put it together. All right. So for the next stage, we're going to assemble our trifles. So our, we're going to take our eggnog mousse mixture and I'm just using a spoon and I'm taking probably like two to three tablespoons. It's all going to depend on how, how much you want to fill your trifle. Then obviously if you were putting it into a large bowl, um, you would probably want to take a third of your mousse. So now I'm going to let Beth put on the gingerbread layer. And so she's probably going to use the same amount, a couple, couple tablespoons. This is smelling just deadly. <laughs> it does. Smell so good. So good. Can't wait for the eating part. Mm-hmm. Do I have it there at the end there? Yep, looking good. All right. So you can just give it a little shake like that and it spreads out. So a couple more. And you can put as many layers as you want or as few layers as you want. It's just nice to get that crumb in between. It's going to really give the eggnog a nice little spicy kick. And we're going to finish it off with a mousse layer and then we're going to garnish it and we'll do that for you guys next. Oh, go oh. ahead, you give it a shake. <laughs> Perfect. We and we're going to cut up some strawberries and grab those gingerbread men and got to make one for Beth as well, of course. We both need one that to get to try. We deserve them, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tis the season. Oh, that's so beautiful. There you go. So you can see the layers in the side there. It's very, beautiful. very cute. So we're going to make up another one and we'll be back to garnish off the trifles. So now that we have our trifle bowls layered, we just want to do a little garnish. So do you know how to make one of these little strawberry fans? I am sure don't. Okay, so I'll give you the knife. I was quite impressed. And, okay, and you need a strawberry. So the first thing you want to do is hold it up like that uh -huh. and then just cut as close to the stem as you can. Just don't cut it off. And stop. And then just make little teeny tiny oh, gaps. I went a little too big on that one. Yeah, like the smaller they are, it, the, the easier prettier. it is to make a fan. Right. But um, and if you and if with you when you try to open it, if it won't fan out, um, you just have to go back and just yep. go a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna mess with it. I think I'm done. <laughs> now, show me how you make. Let's it try. Fancy. Yeah. So we need to because it won't move. Oh. So we just want to cut a little bit deeper. Okay. So yeah, just find where your splits are. There you go. It's kind of like cutting right into that white stem that attaches to the okay. green leaf part. I think. And then we just spread it open like that. So pretty. Yeah. Okay. So then that's just going to sit on top here. Spread that open. Schmancy. And then you can grab one of our little gingerbread men and stick him in there too. And I also managed to find some little Christmas um, sprinkles and you can garnish your um, trifle up like that too. So I have a little gift for you, S surprise. So I want to clean off the table, okay. show everybody all these done up, and present you with something really special. Bring it. So there you go, everybody. How to make eggnog gingerbread trifle, which is absolutely delicious. Beth and I can't wait to get back to our hotel room and enjoy it. So Beth always brings me a present whenever we have met in person, which is so ob absolutely sweet of her. So I just, we, the other day when we were walking through one of the other sets here at um, oh. YouTube Space, she saw this random green deer or something. It was something. like a, a little blue um, reindeer oh, green, in, yeah. the, in the kitchen set. And it was on top of the refrigerator and I told you. She was going to steal it. So rather than have her sent to American jail, uh, Paul and I found <laughs> this little adorable <laughs> reindeer ornament that she can hang on her tree in Hawaii. Do you have Christmas trees in Hawaii? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you just decorate a palm tree? No. Oh, just okay. A regular, a regular tree? tree? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we just wanted to give you that as a little um, reminder of us because we're unforgettable, of course. Right. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you check out Beth's channel. We're going to be shooting another collab with her. It's cooking and crafting. She does amazing crafts and obviously dinners and desserts and absolutely everything. And we're going to do another collab with her. So make sure you head over to her channel and check that out as well. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye.